It's exactly what we have been waiting for. Our decentralized exchange. Mass adoption plan is being implemented. Sharding the future of blockchain technology. The future is now. We have arrived. Second quarter 2019, hitting our roadmap. The wait is over. Are you ready? The world will know Apollo currency. What's next, Apollo dots? Okay, everybody, it is 8.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9-2-2019. Hopefully everybody had a good uh, Labor Day in the United States. And with the impending weather down in Florida, good luck everybody down there. And Bahamas, good luck in getting everything fixed up. You guys went through hell. Um, so anyway, Google searches for BTC spike to huge all-time high. And with that, oh my God, it's surging. Okay, up 6.2% in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin, 10.353.57. And Ethereum, 180.15, up 2.56. XRP also has gone up, but also has had selling going on too. So it's hanging right around 2%. Um, and then basically you're looking, going down the list here. Litecoin, I would say when you look at the graphs, okay, you've got a good healthy up click for most everybody when I say most stellar no stellar is down 125 but when you look at some of the rest of them um, Monero and, and a few others up around anywhere from 1 through 6 percent so, yeah, so it's not bad not bad at all good to see some green good to see some good positive action on the market now you're looking at the uh, Let's see, let's go for the totals. 265.780 for the billions. For the, and then you got 16.6 for the daily uh, for that, for live coin watch. And I don't know why I'm on the bright. Let's go to the night mode. And remember this so much better than coin market cap. Let's go to the two second refresh rate and gives you a much better picture of what's what. So if you're still using live, live coin watch, archaic. Okay, Jack Dorsey's Twitter gets hacked. Not really new news, the reason why I wanted to put this up. Well, basically the 2FA, when you have 2FA, um, when you have exchange accounts, okay, for any exchange, IDAX, Bitmark, keep going down the whole long list, Binance, everybody, okay? As long as they have 2FA available for you, use it. Um, you do not want to get this hacking issue to yourself if you've ever had it happen to you it is no fun and 2fa protects you massively now his twitter account was hacked um and it's just unfortunate but hey that happens you know these hackers are around yeah they can do whatever, whatever they want unless you've got 2fa one stop shop finance acquires futures exchange jex Binance, the world's leading cryptocurrency exchange, has acquired a crypto asset derivatives trading platform, JEX. Binance JEX, as the new venture will be called, will focus on delivering cryptocurrency derivatives, including futures contracts, options, and other derivatives. Okay, well, there we go. I'm not going to keep reading the whole thing. That gives you the chist that a Binance is kicking butt on acquiring. Now, looming death cross may send Ethereum plunging to 140. You know, anybody, you know, I apologize to anybody that believes in charts, okay? But my personal opinion on the charts, it's total garbage, okay? <laughs> total garbage. You, you can feel like you're important and when you learn your charts and you can feel like you're doing your right thing for your investments. But most of the time, 99% of the time, it has no bearing on what is going to happen in the market. Why is that? The market goes on the variables of volume input okay and hype um, it is not where this happened in the past so this could happen again or this will happen again no um, so that's you know 
my personal opinion, opinion is Ethereum is going to have a death cross in its value because it's using proof of work and it has, how can I put it, um, a hard time advancing. And something where you're going to see over time, yes, problems in the Ethereum land. Now, 250 million to rip. You know, this is another thing too. Ripple has been releasing 1 billion um, <laughs> as far as I can remember. Um, basically, they do it for expenses and a bunch of other stuff. But you get a lot of these people now that are bitching about it because the coin hasn't done well. They're blaming Ripple because of this. When the coin was doing $3, almost $4, um, it was still doing the 1 billion um, escrow release. So it's something that you just I have to understand that it's, you know, you get this backlash because the coin, everybody hyped XRP, you know, everybody. And they're still doing it out there. They're saying that XRP is going to go to $289 into the year. Um, and they were saying 500 and so, you know, last year. And they're still hyping it because they know there's the XRP army is out there. And so they get the clickbait. They get the income revenue from people watching their videos. Well, guess what? it's not going to happen where it goes into the hundreds of dollars. That's my own personal opinion. But when you look at the total coin count and you look at the current market and with the, even with a bull market, you're seeing that coin go up to $4, $5, $6 at the most. You're not seeing it going up to hundreds of dollars. Sorry if I bummed you out on that. Um, but it's just my own personal opinion now. Getting over to that, U.S. Congress urged to regulate crypto sector under Bank Secrecy Act. With the virtual assistant uh, providers of VAPs, um, VASPs, I should say, as money transmitters. This is something where they're going to have to work that out. Um, I would think that some of it should be under banking, but not totally. Tether is reported locally into launching cryptos backed by commodities like gold and oil. Zhang Dong says Tether is considering stable coins backed by bulk commodities such as gold and crude oil. Well, let's see what you do, guys. Um, obviously, you can say that you're talking about doing that. Well, let's see what you do. ECB exec rips cartel like Facebook Libra in blistering takedown. Basically, ta calling it like a cartel. Because of Facebook and their, you know, the companies are getting involved in it. It's it's really centralized. It's not decentralized. It's just a money making piece for Facebook. It's going to go through hell through Congress, and it's going to go through hell for regulations. Uh, but it will eventually come out, if you ask me. Thai cryptocurrency exchange Bitcoin, C O L T D, is closing down operations. So, Thailand's leading cryptocurrency exchange, Bitcoin Co. Ltd. Bx.in.th is closing down, and you have to get your coins out of there by November 1st, 2019. They say they're going to they're going to focus on other business opportunities. Hmm. Craig Wright is pushing for an extension because of the hurricane, and his lawyers are concerned about not having enough, enough time. Um, so, let me put it this way. We should have a little poll out there. I should do it on Twitter. Who thinks that he's going to pay eventually? If he has to. That's the poll. If he has to pay, do you think he'll pay? Okay. Police sees 15K crypto thief after he mistakenly disclosed identity. Can we all laugh out loud? Okay, so with that one there... <laughs> Imagine that guy. Uh, oh, this was in Connecticut. Look at this. Police caught a man who had stolen over 15,000 worth of digital currency in a mobile phone theft. After he mistakenly sent an apology email to a detective heading the investigation. Okay, the victim fell victim to crypt cryptocurrency theft by New Jersey citizen Darren Carter. Where And the latter swiped the victim. Oh, I never heard about that. He swiped the victim's phone and allegedly transferred $15,000 um, plus worth of crypto from their Coinbase account. Wow. And then he sends the apology email to the... I'm going to link this down below if you guys want to read that. 
because um, I didn't read that fully before I put it on. Um, that's a good one. Okay, Apollo Core on Twitter. Um, you look at the name Apollo Core, it tells you everything, I guess. Look at his post here. Apollo currency keeps setting crypto history. Two second speed. Best privacy. Updater prevents forks. Apollo's updater. Sharding. Active database blockchain. First ever in crypto history. And DEX no KYC built into Apollo's all in one wallet and so much more. Really, so much more. Use news, you lose. At CCN Markets, Forbes Crypto, and Pomp Pompliano. I love the GIF you put up. Nice one. When you look closer, though, that car when it's coming at you doesn't have, I don't know, it's the way it does it. It's, you should see that spoiler right, you know, way before this. And then all of a sudden the spoiler appears. Um, mm, editing, editing, editing. Okay, so anyway, Bitcoin's POW is more scalable than the hash graph, as minimum data is required for block generation. You see this picture right here? That's, oh, we've got a thunderstorm in this area. Cool. That's proof of work. Archaic archaic all right and that's going to be in history when you <clears throat> look back in history down the road some you're going to be saying that oh my god bitcoin you know with the mining using up electricity um using proof of work and using proof of work for ethereum and then you got all the advancements of proof of stake and then apollo's dag consensus protocol arcnet the future that is going to be the history when you look back at it wow they're going to say about bitcoin and ethereum apollo sharding did it work this has been publicized massively this was a was the third party verification of sharding and when you look at it and you read it and you go down digitech did it this is the list down below and the easy way to look at this and understand what's what large file file down to small file down to smallest file so when you look at his last paragraph here right there wallet is now in sync and it has downloaded a few transactions from the first shard that it needed to for transactions associated with the current wallet address but only 7 MB worth nothing more the wallet below has been in sync for another four hours the, and only the APL, you see the address, has changed in size with the increased blocks. Incredible. This tells me that we indeed are running on the last slice taken from the ledger, as it does not need all previous blocks to run. Database is just a fraction of the size, eradicating blockchain bloat and becoming truly sustainable. My God. All right, so when you look at that, Apollo setting history. Apollo is confirmed to be the first to accomplish database sharding. Well done, Apollo team and developers. Apollo is on a mission and Apollo is doing it. They're setting, basically, they're setting crypto history with so much right now. And sharding is a massive one. The updater to prevent forts, forks is another big one. And this is the twist about Apollo. If you're new to Apollo, you know, when I do the videos, I get a lot of people down below ask me, or I should say, when you look down below, you see the comments. A lot of people ask me, you know, where can I get it? You know, how do I? The links are down below for um, BitMart and IDAX. And now they have more exchanges coming, or in fact, SystemCoin in Turkey, the largest exchange in Turkey, is locked and loaded for Ethereum. Now, when you look, I'll get to that in a second. But anyway, this national currency initiative, this is your twist for Apollo. They're doing all these history things. They have a DEX coming into their wallet active anytime now. And I'm going to go over that in one second. You have all that working with their all-in-one wallet for private messaging, data storage, voting, marketplace to spend your Apollos. Tons. I mean, I can't. I've done it before. I've gone through a lot of it or all the features. And you're looking at a 25-minute video. Well, guess what? Um, and that's not even talking about the news of the world. The main thing is Apollo has it all under one roof. And now they're pushing more and more for the merchant adoption. And they're working in Africa for national currency. 
in other companies or other countries, I should say. Um, they, and I'll list this down below so you can read it. So they're partnered with the ADF Group to do national currency use in Africa for the high inflation, hyperinflation countries using Apollo's 0%, 0% inflation coin. So now they're pushing for merchants all over the world to join their network. And that is something with their decentralized bank network and their merchant network. So you can go spend your Apollos anywhere you want. And that is the bomb. Now here you've got the work on the DEX and sharding additional accompaniments, uh, accompaniments I should say. You've got the validators preliminary dip and that one is a lot of sharding stuff. You've got the fixed experiment with shard map. Then you have the DEX approved money being worked on and you have the uh, let's see the atomic swap stage two or second step I should say added into this which was really good all this you can see was worked on yesterday um, and that's something soon enough you're gonna see more work done on it while you're watching this video so Apollo is getting super close to doing it and when you have that it's mesmerizing and here with the white paper, the technical paper, the one pager, the comparison chart, and the Vision 2020 tech document. It's all there for you to see. And what you should do, the links are down below. Just check it all out. Do your own research. Find out if it's good for you. But right now, available at 0.0011, that's where it is. So it doesn't take a lot to get involved. The Apollo community is massive. You can see their address right down here for the Apollo community for Telegram and a massive following on Twitter and other, you know, Facebook, Instagram, everything else. Apollo has been working for over a year to take care of business. I was there in the beginning to see it all start up and basically talked about it every day for the most part in the last year going on my god four five five a year and five months holy mackerel so anyway it's fun to watch it mature fun to watch it grow and apollo is growing with the new dag network next year um and arcnet and tps in the millions oh i gave that away uh, that you know going back to this decentralized exchange we have been waiting for this for a long time folks a long fun time and it's coming Working in Africa, they are with ADF, the Turkey Exchange. Not only this exchange, don't forget, they're working with HitBTC to get that finally done after all this time, a long time. Dr. McAfee, McAfee said that they shouldn't do it, and then they lost money because of it. Well, now that's all working back to going positive. Then you've got Digit Finex. Apollo won the vote to get a free listing on that. Go Apollo. You've got a Binance application in. So you can see that everything is gelling for Apollo. And it's just a matter of time before she blows. And here, right when I said that, you probably didn't hear that. In the background was the, a smashing thunderstorm thunder sound. Right when I said that. Now, qu quickly listen to this. Here you go. Oh, I, I think I minimized that. All right. I did. Sorry about that. We're going to try that over. Projects like Ethereum have tried this and failed. Oh, you hey, slow down. Let's go back. Sharding is a technological blockchain breakthrough to allow scalability. Integral for mass adoption. Projects like Ethereum have tried this and failed. Apollo is delivering. Name the fastest and most advanced blockchain ever created. And it's only getting faster. How fast? Sub second. Coming soon. Apollo currency. Welcome to mass adoption. The sub second speed that's coming. It's going to be a rush. Right now, um, when you send your coins from one wallet to the next, or you send your coins from the wallet to the exchange, it is rapid. Totally rapid. Um, you're talking one to two seconds whew, out, of your, out of your wallet. Your confirmations, and anybody that's in crypto knows about confirmations. Your confirmations are over the six, eight, 
in a matter of 10 seconds, 12 seconds. And you know how long you have to wait with Bitcoin sometimes? To just get to one confirmation takes you 30 seconds to a minute. <laughs> so, and then you get to eight. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass to wait. Sorry about that. Okay, the most powerful decentralized application infrastructure on the market. A platform capable of facilitating a truly decentralized internet. Post-blockchain distributed ledger technology. DAG consensus. At least 1 million TPS. The Apollo Advantage. And it truly is. When you look at their all-in-one features, it is truly the Apollo Advantage. And that is a rush. Love that video. Had that made up about a year ago, year and a half ago, year and three months ago to be exact. See, I don't know if you can hear that thunder in the background, but that thunder is loud. Okay, Dark Side of the Moon. Good album. If you don't have it, you should get it. Uh, and then Pink Floyd. This picture is a rush. Fastest speeds, beating everybody. Yes, and the privacy. I should back that up. Because I was just looking in outside. I reversed that. You got the privacy that I was just there. And the speed. So there's your privacy. And there's your speed. It is a rush. Do not forget system coin. This is going to help big time. Because you need competition to BitMart. But BitMart is the biggest one for Apollo. And you need competition. They'll have the BTC pairing shortly, I would think. To give you both BTC and ETH. For system coin and a lot of coins that are on system coin by the way do better I don't know what it, what it is I don't know what it is but I've got a few coins that I know of and it's crazy on other exchanges decent exchanges coin being in more um, one price and doing about the average among those exchanges then you look at the system coin more volume higher price crazy now, oh yeah, look at that picture. The community behind Apollo, community behind Apollo is massive. And it's just growing and growing and growing. You have something that is changing, something that is just going to be a rush because so much is going on. Is a rush no doubt about that so let's just make sure we have nothing else to show there nope that is it so getting back to you can't you know well I got to see this back up to all this go down to the links down below check everything out go to the website when you end up on the website you're right on the front page and there she be this platform when you click on it and you go through everything you'll see the advantages locked and loaded Look over to the right, see how they kick butt? Yep. Okay. And I'm not going to go through every one of them because the video is getting long. The main thing is you got to understand it is an all in one, huge all in one, built into the wallet. You download the wallet. Getting back to that in a second. That dashboard over on this side contains all these things. So this is tangible. And this is where your DEX is coming active. So you can trade in buy coins directly through here and cash out to your bank when you want to tangible it's all right there you can use it and in the meantime while you're using it the sharded blocks are going crazily fantastic Apollo's in Africa taking care of business for national currency use they're working to expand all over the world while you're just sitting there using your wallet Apollo's out there working that is the bomb it is really when you look at their devs kicking butt and just working towards making sure that Apollo has the best in the world ladies and gentlemen all I can say is the Sun is coming it's rising for Apollo <laughs>